In this video, we're going to uh, refresh information on the left side navigation menu, like user profile picture and user full name. Uh, when user successfully saves new uh, profile details and dismisses the edit profile view controller. And there are a couple of ways to do that. One uh, way is to make our left side navigation menu to listen um, uh, listen to messages from sent from edit profile uh, view controller or we can establish direct reference between these two view controllers by storing a reference um, to left side navigation controller inside of our edit profile view controller and this is what we will do we will store a reference to um, a left side navigation controller inside of our edit profile view controller and um, having that reference, we can call any function um, inside our left side navigation controller from the edit profile view controller. So what I will do, uh, I will go to my edit profile view controller first, and I will declare a new variable. Let me open it in assistant editor. I'll scroll up here and I will declare a new variable uh, which will be pointing to um, our um, uh, to our left side view controller uh, right here at the top. Uh, I will declare a new variable, and that will be I'll call it opener, and uh, that will be of type of type left side uh, view controller. Okay, because our navigation view controller is assigned a custom uh, Swift class called a left side view controller. And uh, now when we have this variable here in our edit profile view controller, we have a reference to left side view controller. We need to uh, instantiate uh, edit profile view controller from the uh, left side view controller and populate this reference with an actual object. But at this moment, we are opening um, edit profile uh, using the segue. So we will uh, delete this segue now. And I will go to um, my uh, left side view controller and we'll create a new um, outlet for, I will uh, create a new connection for my edit button here. And that will be connection type action. And I will uh, give it a name edit button tapped. So when user taps on edit button, I will need to instantiate edit profile view controller and I will need to populate that um, opener object with a reference to uh, a left side view controller. So, um, and I have a little piece of code ready, so I don't have to type much. Um, and here it is. So basically I will need to um, instantiate my edit view controller from the main storyboard. And uh, we know how to do it. We reference storyboard and then we instantiate view controller with identifier. Our identifier uh, on edit profile view controller is called edit profile view controller. We can quickly check that. So I'll go to edit profile view controller, open that right side panel, go to identity inspector. Here's our custom class and here's our identity, a storyboard ID edit profile view controller. So let's close that and go back to our left side view controller. So here we instantiate edit profile view controller and here we uh, reference the opener variable and we set it to self self is our left side view controller so now the object inside of our edit profile view controller uh, is referencing is um, referencing the uh, left side view controller and then we wrap the um, uh, edit profile uh, view controller into navigation controller and present it Okay, so this is the important line. We um, uh, reference uh, our opener object 
here edit profile view controller we declared opener object and this opener object is of type left side view controller and we set it to self so now these two view controllers are kind of connected they can communicate and we can go uh, to our uh, we can go to our edit profile view controller and just uh, when we dismiss a view controller on its completion handler here when we dismiss current view controller inside of the completion handler we can reference the opener object our opener object is of type left side view controller and we can call functions on that object so let's declare a new um, uh, function which is called user details and that function will refresh user profile and user full name on the left side view controller so i will switch back to um, uh, left side view controller automatic left side view controller and i will declare a new functions function i'll call it uh, load user details and uh, this function will be called and if i scroll up here um, we load user details in our view did load so when left side view controller instantiated we um, load up user first name last name and then we load up profile picture so all this code i will cut out of view did load and I will paste it to my load user details function. And now this function user, user details, load user details, which is declared inside of um, left side view controller, it will be called from our edit profile view controller here, just uh, inside of dismiss uh, view controller animated the completion handler so and if we look at this function again when we save uh, profile details when user taps on save button on the edit profile detail we send it to parse and if everything went well there is no error message if information got stored successfully we display an alert controller and when user taps on ok button inside of that on that uh, alert controller we trigger we declare a handler which is a completion handler when um, uh, this um, button is stopped we dismiss um, the uh, the alert controller will dismiss and we will dismiss the edit view controller and right after when right when the uh, view controller is dismissed we will call uh, we will call a load user details function okay that should work so let's quickly test it i'll save this stop and run i will uh, tap on edit button now i will uh, change profile picture and i will tap on save information is being saved profile details details successfully updated okay and my view controller is dismissed and information on the left side navigation controller is uh, enabled but what i've noticed when uh, this uh, view controller was um, created um, it was not populated with a uh, low with user details initially and I know why because we've just removed we just cut out that business logic we just cut out it uh, from view did load and we forgot to call load user details from there as well so we will go to our left side view controller and inside of view did load function we will call a load user details as well so that when this um, user interface is instantiated user details are loaded up and um, profile picture and user first name and last name are populated so let's stop it and run again
Now if I open up my uh, left side view controller, information is loaded. So I will edit it. I'll choose a different profile picture, like the one with waterfall here. And I will uh, edit my first name, my last name, save it. Profile details successfully updated. And they are updated uh, on the left side view controller. So I'll just um, put the proper values here. And I will also update my password now. So the, the new password will be just one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Hit on save. Okay, successfully updated. Done. And I will log out and try to sign in with the new password. So I will um, use my email address. I think I logged in with Erslandia.com and the password is 123. Sign in. Yes, it worked. So now I will change my password to a different one. Oops, I'm sorry. Go to edit and I'll change it to 12345. 12345. Save it. Successfully signed in. I mean, saved. Sign out. And I will try to log in with com with the old password one two three sign in login is incorrect invalid login parameters and i will use the new password one two three four five save sign in and it worked okay so edit profile um uh, user interface is working we can update first name last name password and we can update the user profile picture and um information on the left side view controller is also updated i think we are ready uh ready we're done with it